G'day fellas, welcome back to another video over at Jaws Adventures. Today me and your brother came out for a bit of a fish down to the Goulburn River, just for an afternoon fish. And we've, we're finishing up our session now, so I already know the outcome. But if I was you, I'd want to stay tuned because some crazy fishing action is about to come up. So like the video, subscribe to Jaws Adventures, and we'll see you on the water, legends. <laughs> Timber. I got mine on the deep sticks last. A while ago, too, yeah. Pretty far. Holy cow. Oh, Getting something mega down here. That was crazy structure right here. Yeah, it's true. I hit it like the whole way, it's like all tips. Better watered fish than out here. That looks like a little blob of bait there, maybe mid water. There's bait here, we will get fish, I'm telling you. Everywhere I, I saw bait. Three out of three, like another time, it's tangled. They never got tangled last time. It got tangled like four times now. Look at that lay down. There is one in the tree. Oh, oh you oh. got me excited. Where is the net in case you hook up? Oh, can I just bump one? Yeah, got you good, did it? I'm gonna sit it under the steering wheel here, just in case. Especially if we hook a big cod on these fucking lures, man. This light tackle, we've got to be quick with the net. This side of the Goulburn always feels more coddy than Yallery for some reason. Guaranteed. Do I just top out the back maybe? I don't want to get snagged though, not worth it. Caught a couple times doing that. I feel the tree down here. Remember the time we marked two of them on the bait in the flat there, and then I cast it back with my spinner bait and caught it. Yeah, that was a it good worked. fish they too. Were, they were, they were. Uh, your mates are coming on the jet skis. The action on this is actually good though, like. Did you get a hit? I don't know. Yeah, I saw something. Your line flicked. Okay, Carl said drop your thing at the back there, maybe. He's practically at the tip of this tree, I'm assuming, yeah? Yeah, probably. Is it worth your... It doesn't look like a carp either. No, it's not. Huh? So what I'll do is I'll go out. Yeah, this one is. That big double blader. Try to get some pulsy action. I'm not where the fish was though. I think he was. Because your transducer's out the back. Yep. That was him! 
No way. Think we got a cot on? Got him. Yes, sure no. Your hook come out too in the net. Oh really? <laughs> Just marked up a fish on the side scan too. I wonder if that was him. I wonder. Straight away, it's been five minutes. Yeah, sure no. Muzzy wuzzy. Yeah, little one. What was it third cast? Pretty much. Two casts, the lure fouled up. And then after that, bang. Got him. Eww. Chip, get him back in. Oh. Get your Yoo! It don't get much better than a day on the water in the Golden River chasing some natives. More so the golden perch, but a cod's a good bonus. The brother on the board, only been fishing for about 20 minutes or so. Not even 20, probably third cast in. So if we fish this bank and get a few more, we'll keep you updated. Like the video, subscribe to Jazz Adventures, and we'll see you on the next fish catch, legends. The reason I thought it might have been bigger. Like light rod, but it's not like super light. Yeah. Little like backbone. Yep. Aiming to catch that though. Is that where he would be? Nah, it would be like. Go, go, go wherever you're But that is where I was going. Telling you, where does bait this fish? They always hold right near it. It's deep. There's like over seven meters down in that channel. I've caught a lot of my fish sinking the bottoms of these channels though. Like see all those trees on the edge there? I just cast sink them to the bottom and then reel back. I've caught yellows and cod. Depends on the time of year though. I think that was more in the summer when they sit on the drops. There was definitely a fish down there, no doubt about it. It didn't look big. Could have been a small, a yellow already. <coughs> there it was a lot of True. And that log's probably fat as well. Would the reading be weaker if it's under a log or would it still read the same? I reckon it'll be a bit weaker. I reckon it'd be weaker than if it was on top of the log. Yeah. I feel that too. I'm not going to lie, I'm a bit cheered up about this session. Are you feeling excited? Yeah, I'm saying fish. Yeah, that anaconda sponsor anglers. Really? Did anaconda sponsor you? No, they will. Eventually. They don't know it yet. They, don't, they just don't know it yet, huh? Well, when I worked there, they all like, they were the best thing ever. I might need to put my one ounce on me for a smaller blade. This thing takes too long to sink in the deep water. But if you're fishing yellows, I don't reckon they're going to be on the bottom. They're going to be suspended on each tree. I thought that was maybe like a 7 year old to be So did I. It was like, it was like, because you know when they're just heavy weight? And it was like coming towards you, so you couldn't, it really didn't feel any weight, like you couldn't really tell. Next cast, put it in the sea like a sticky. Yeah, I see that, yeah. I've cast it at that thing like 10 times. Oh, like the deep side of it, yeah. I reckon it'll be deep on that side. It looks fishy through here. Very fishy, my dad. Slow roll it back, eh? I get scared stopping spinner baits. I'm worried that the fish are going to turn off. Spinner baits? Yeah, you sit on the scope, they turn off. That was no cod, yes. Yeah, but I also reckon they do that because you're watching it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Like, it sounds stupid, but I reckon because you're watching it, you, you just stop fishing. Yeah, that could be something. Yeah, it's just fishing. <laughs> Yes! 
Number two. Number two. <laughs> Eww. What is it? Cod. Second one in like five casts. Is that your little one? Yeah. What are you using? A lipless crankbait. Just a little vrrt vrrt and they rattle. Your first one? Second one. We caught one just there and caught one here. Wow. Yeah, There's a lot great. of bait on the sounder here. With the sounder? Yeah, we're, we're seeing the bait fish. Fucking everywhere. Yeah. 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 i tell you what works better, jelly knot. 100%. <laughs> Everything comes up. <laughs> Blow them up. There you go. Have a good day, boys. Thanks, Thank mate. You. you too. There we go. Second one on the lipless crank, just hopping it off the edges. They're smashing it. I'm just using little Dobbins rod, little spin outfit. Happy days. There we go, mate. Two in five in. minutes, get him back. Beautiful fish, mate. I'm so happy with this. Everyone come past, fuck that other one. <laughs> Crayfish, look. Oh, what? He's gonna buy your lure off, man. What's gonna happen? I was like, I just caught a crayfish on a lure. <laughs> what is going on here? That is the biggest crayfish I think I've ever seen in my life. Look at his head. He's dead to the biggest crayfish I've ever seen. Oh <laughs> my god. Look at the top of its head though, it's been chopped off or something. What? Look how big that is. I thought it was fighting. How's that for an unexpected catch? Throw in the lipless crankbait, get a bite, reel up a giant crayfish. He wasn't even hooked either, he was just holding onto the lure, he really wanted it. His head's a bit chopped up. Big boy too, look at that. Eww. Let him go. See ya mate. Eww. There's not a fish in here, man. Look at it. I went in here the other day with Dad. Now, me and Brent, me and Dad, I don't remember. We fished in here. You can actually go in. It's pretty deep in there. I reckon we go in there. Do you wanna? Me and Dad went in there. Yeah. Like a while ago, we fished in here, it goes left, and you can fish the whole way up and there's shit in the middle. It actually looks really good. It's about two meters in there. Me and dad started here though, we didn't fish all back there. We started here, went in there, came out and then fished up to there. You can definitely get in there though if you wanted to. Just don't know if it's worth it. I'm just thinking of the flow out here. Yeah, I just don't know. We did get him in backwater the other day, though. And look, it's actually, I'm telling you, it's really nice back there. Just don't know if there'll be fish. I feel like the bait will be in there, though. I reckon there's got to be some, like, flow is pretty unusual, I reckon. 
before, they were active back there. You see, look in there though, like, doesn't that look good? It looks fishy. Never caught in there though. Yeah, I wouldn't know where they're going. Yeah, they're going Sideways. We're on again, eh? I've got to get my rod up and I'll come grab the net for you. Lots of yellow. Target species, look at that. Yeah, they done the drop. Yo! I, watched, I watched my line start going sideways across the bank. I was like, I was like, Carson, I was like talking to you and I looked and then the line was like, going sideways. I was real and the line just That's how they're picking them up today. They're aggressive. Look at that, healthy. Shawno, Shawno, Shawno. Three fish, first hour of fishing. Well, so yeah, that's what we're here for. That's what we're here for, not the cod. So, good to get target species. Yeah, fishing a little spin. Can't go wrong. Eww. Shawno with the 45, golden's on the golden. Doesn't get much better than this, eh? Yeah. Look at that. Come down, give it a crack, go buy some primal lures. Come catch some natives. See ya, mate. You. Any day you go fishing, and in the first hour where you get three hits, especially native fishing with lures, it's a good day on the water. So, like the video, subscribe to Jazz Adventures, go check Shawno's YouTube out, it'll be in the description below. Sean Carlick, it's under. And he's got some awesome content on there as well. And if you want to see him upload more, let him know, comment on his video, subscribe to him and tell him to get on the water and film more fishing content. Yee 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 That's handy. And that's the three fishy mark, we're not far from there. More bait off there. Yeah, the only thing I wish I had was the heading lock button on the foot pedal. That would be amazing. <coughs> is it not on there? No. Anyway. Yep. You're on. Yep. He's, he's actually smoking ya. It's a cod. We got him. That's a better cod. Hey, that's a good That's a better cod. <laughs> That's actually a really good cod. <laughs> that little lipless crank straight down the hatch. Yo! Shawno, Shawno, Shawno. 62 centimeter cod. Fishing the Goulburn River. Eww. There we go, it's the third yellow bycatch for me. On the spin rod, 10 pound, 10 pound. 10 pound leader, 10 pound line. They're just pulling it. Picking them up on the fall. That's it, getting back. Hopefully we can actually get some yellow belly. Oh. Oh, that. Eww. That's it. That's four fish for Shawno. One crayfish for me. I'm getting out fished big time. The lipless crankbait's doing the damage today down at the Goulburn River. If you haven't got any, maybe go buy some. And uh hop the banks because yeah, we're not really getting him straight rolling he's just hopping the bank like a soft plastic just like you would normally fish for flathead or snapper in the bay so it's paying off today i'm throwing spinner baits and also liplesses and unfortunately you can't really get much to bite so if you like this video maybe by the end i'll catch another fish or, or i will catch a fish and hopefully it's much bigger than his because sean at the moment's in the lead biggest and most so he's now got to retie. He was gut hooked in that cod's gut, so the line's all frayed. We'll get back on the water and keep you updated. <laughs> For those of you wondering the lures being thrown, or if you want to get some yourself, the range I would go with is the Primal Kush Vibe 65 mil. It's made from Primal. He makes all the spinner baits I throw, all the chatter baits I throw, and he's got some really good products. So if you haven't tried him out, he's a local business. 
from Australia, so jump on his website. It'll be in the top of my description. Go grab a few because I'm about to tie this one on and show my brother what's up. Hopefully our fishing by the end of this stretch and stay tuned. Watch till the end because hopefully this Kush vibe turns into a big dog. Yee! That's so soft to step on, I like that. Yeah, once you get used to it, like before it was terrible man, like it was the worst. The worst part, the actual thing is when you're leaning on it. You accidentally put weight on it. Yeah, because it works off magnets. It definitely turns better one way man. There's a fish. At the very top there maybe. Yeah. Probably a carp considering it's so high up. Should we go on this side of the tree or left of the tree? I want to see where the noise. Definitely looks good. Even out here in the open, like the whole sand has just had patches of stumps and timber. And not when we're chasing yellows, it's not what we expected. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Oh no, he's still on. Yeah, small cod, barely hooked. Got him! I'm on the board, Shawno! Here we go. Yee! I'm on the board again, fellas. Not bad. On the hard body. There was a lot of thick timber in there and I figured why not throw a hard body over some of the timber? And it paid off. Just a small cod. Shawno's four to my one. I don't know if you'd count the crayfish as a catch, but got the cray and now the cod. Surprisingly, very little amount of yellows. Just a lot of nice, beautiful looking, healthy cod. But we'll let him go and try to get a yeller. Beautiful boys. Eee. 